Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and a friend of mine lately asked me what the difference is between those flagship libraries by Heaviosity like Vento, Novo and Forzo and their little brothers and sisters from the Essential series. Are you curious too? Let's find out. Today's video will be limited to Vento and Vento Essentials but anyhow Heaviosity did a major job when they have been in the studio recording the big ensembles for Novo, Forzo and Vento, their string, brass and woodwind libraries. And no, you know, those maybe are not the fine brushes where you will find the soloists and the legato things. No, this is where you need a modern, big sound quick. And this is even why they placed it in their wonderful engines. We will talk about them in a second quickly. Anyhow, if you will be interested then in a detailed look at Vento or Vento Essentials, let me know in the comments. I might make a video and don't forget their summer sale is still running. So maybe this is the right time to get one of those libraries. We will start with Vento. And if you open up that library, you see there are two folders containing the NKIs. And in the traditional folder, you do find the clarinets, the flutes, a high ensemble, a low ensemble, and the contra bass ensemble. And if we start here with the clarinets, then you see you do have, as always, you know, the envelope, the IQ, the filter, the mix, the performance and the space. And here you do have the articulations, for example, the long sustains. The staccato and it's already getting cool. You can choose how many round robins you see here, the round robins that are played and you do have a repeater function, which is time synced. Here you choose the rate, you choose the swing, you choose if you would like to have an accent and how much this accent should apply. Know your libraries, know your tools. I can't stress this one out, especially with detailed libraries like this. Then there is the portato, the sforzato, the pipiso then. I'm going quick because this is not about vento. This is about the differences between vento and vento essentials. And a triple P sustained. You see here, these have been the core articulations then there are the extended ones i will go by the default where you do have three microphones and then you see the staccato waves the stereo waves you know things like this the subtle pulses the random vibrato The random staccato, then I can go to the extended two, and there you find bends, chords in minor, chords in octaves, and stuff like this. You see, it's pretty cool, and you find even FX. Um, let's check even those out clusters, white clusters cluster pulses and you find rips those have been the clarinets obviously you find the very same stuff in the flutes you do get your core where you do have the core one and the core two the core one, just quickly, the sustain, the staccato, even here, obviously, you do have the repeater. You do have the core two, where you find then, and even this is pretty cool, obviously, we have the same, the clarinets, crescendi, time synced. You find swells, and even the swells can be time synced.
You find the half drills. You find the whole drills. You find the extended ones like we had them before the FX and the rips. You find the high ensemble where they recorded the whole ensemble. With all those articulations, the staccato, the portato, the sforzando, then the core two, like we had them before, you know, with the swells and the trills and stuff like this, you can time sync this half length, double length. So it's going pretty much in detail. Then there's the low ensemble, same stuff. And this one, I guess you can imagine if you go for the extended ones. All the same articulations and then it's getting pretty cool to you because you do get the contra bass ensemble and now it's getting nearly brassy. Even here the staccato, let as we had before, repeater. And with those, if you get into the effects, then it's getting pretty, pretty cool with the clusters. Or even the core ones, like the swells, for example, time synced. And stuff like this. So you see, it's the whole woodwind sections but and now there comes the sound design stuff you get the woodwind designer in the designer you can choose on the source three different sources for three different channels like in nearly all of the libraries each channel has its panning its tune its volume you can lay it out on the keyboard where you would like to have which instrument you can see it then on the colors what precisely is going on and it is divided in all those categories, the organic, the ambient, the effects, the rhythmic, the loop combos. I just loaded one here. It's called punctual as usual. Let's play this. That's the woodwind designer and I guess you know by now you do have the cycle within here you do have the famous macro sequencer um, the options for the pitch bend for the velocity the sustain pedal you know all these things I've talked a lot about heaviosity lately I think by now this should be pretty fam familiar for you and then you can go to the organic for example a calming wind You see, you can do lots and lots and lots of stuff with this. Um, ambient, um, Winds of Fortune. Just to give you an idea what this woodwind designer can do for you. And I'm repeating, there are all those categories. I won't go through them. If you would be interested in a detailed look into Vento, let me know in the comments. We will do it then. And the last engine that you find in there, just to repeat, we had the traditional and the evolved one. And in the evolved one, you find the designer and you find the loop designer. And the loop designer is what you have even in symphonic destruction or in damaged guitars and stuff like this. You do have your options and you do have the designer where you have the three banks that you can choose from to create those loops. That's the low one, that's the middle one, that's the high one and if you play, if you play with the designer keys, the purple ones, then you trigger them all together. But 
maybe you know it, you have the learn function. If you say, you'd, I would like to have this in the base if I press the C, but I don't want this in the middle, but this one, then you easily press learn and you assign a different one. And you do have here the keys. to play on different notes, obviously. I mean, this is obviously, this is the loop designer and even the loop designer, you do have the straight ones, the straight reverse ones in triples, the performances and stuff like this, just to play some of them. So it's pretty cool. Even the loop designer is pretty cool. And this was Vento in a nutshell. Let's have a look what the difference is to Vento Essentials, because obviously there is a huge difference in price. You already see there aren't two folders. There are simply three N key eyes. And it starts in this case with a woodwind ensemble. So you don't get the flutes and the clarinets and all this divided. You just get the full woodwind ensemble with the long notes. With the staccato, but you do get the same feature. You, you do have the repeater function. You do have the crescendo and even here it's time synced or double speed. So if you don't need the detailed um, version, this one might do the job for you. You do have the subtle pulses. So just to show you, you do have the full woodwind ensemble with those articulations. That's it. You do have the three microphones the same and the random vibrato we already had. And then you do have even here the woodwind designer just one thing, if you look at this, the content, there are slightly less snapshots. We in the Woodwind Designer, there are the categories and you see there are more snapshots. But at the end of the day, that's not really a problem in my opinion, because you know, those out of the box sounds, yes, they are huge and they can help you to start quickly. But at the end of the day, we would like to tweak a little bit around, you know, and, and play with the sounds. So if you have less of them, I think that's not a problem because once you know how to use those engines, then you can create any sound anyhow by yourself. So I just have here through the fog. just to show you. That's one of them in the ambient one as we are here. Welcome to Heaviosity is a pretty cool sound even. You do have even here some rhythmic ones. Let's check one of them out gently into the night. Let's see this one. This was a rhythmic one. Then you do have loop combos even here. And 
what's 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 nice to them is really those mix between the organic sources of the sound that you can hear but anyhow the tweaking around i i pretty much but i think by now you know it love the sound of those heaviosity libraries you do have the organic ones familiar faces Just to play through some of them, the Beware the Infected. Nice one. Nice one. And the ambient one, so we had them, the rhythmic ones, we had some of them, the loop combos. We like to try another one, maybe. Um, rhythmic combo one. And even in Vento Essentials, yes, you do have the loop designer. It's the same thing. You do have the designer where you have your designer keys where you can learn what to choose from. And even here, there is a little difference because in the loop designer from Vento, if you look in this, there you see what you can choose from for bank one, bank two, or bank three. If you look at Vento Essentials in the loop designer, there are only the low loops, the mid loops, and the high loops. Yes, there is less content obviously but it's a very very good starting point maybe even if you would like to get into the heaviosity world and would like to learn how those libraries works then this one might be the perfect starting point it's not too overwhelming and filled with content let's play one of them So you see there's always the middle piece, the highest piece and the bass piece and then they are combined together. Here anyhow you can choose from some of those combos. And I think that's it. I think that's it from my side. I hope I could show you the difference between Vento and Vento Essentials. It's the same for Forzo and Forza Essentials and the Novo and Novo Essentials. There's more content, more detailed content in the flagship library. But in my opinion, the Essentials are anyhow a very good starting point. And if you'd like to see another video of mine, then I suggest now have a look at my walkthrough of the Susuros de Esperanza, the demo track that I wrote for scoring acoustic guitars, another wonderful, wonderful library. And that's it. Make good music always. See you in the next video or in the next live stream. Bye-bye.